Five sub-pages for more detailed edit features are available. Let's have a closer look at the volume control page. Dynamic lets you control the velocity response of your MIDI keyboard. Curve sets the curve for the velocity response. Min sets the minimum velocity. Max sets the maximum velocity. You probably know what an ADSR is. Attack sets the fade-in time for the sound. Decay sets the time until the sustain level is reached. Sustain sets the level maintained from the end of the decay stage to the start of the release stage. Release sets the fade out time after releasing the key. Velocity. Usually the dynamic of an instrument is just controlled only by the velocity of your mini keyboard. However, the velocity modes offer various options to control the dynamic. Select the different velocity modes from the drop down menu. Velocity key. The instruments in Chris Heinhorn's Compact have six velocity layers. The solo instruments have even 20 velocities. When set to velocity key, these layers are available through the velocity of your MIDI keyboard. Velocity fade. When this is selected, the velocity is controlled via MIDI control change. By default, that's CC11 expression, but you can also use any other controller by changing the velocity fade CC here. OK, now we have a hardware MIDI control fader assigned to CC11. The value of the incoming MIDI message is displayed at the bottom of the page. Setting the controller to zero plays the lowest velocity layer. Moving the controller up fades between the velocity layers while increasing the value crossfades between the velocity layers until the highest value of 127 is reached. Velocity key and fade. This is a combination of velocity key and velocity fade. Velocity is controlled via keyboard velocity, but you can also use expression to crossfade between the velocity layers. Velocity key and fade works in an intelligent way. Let's say you play a note at velocity 100, then you increase expression starting from zero. No change is audible until the controller reaches value 100. From here, expression takes control of the velocity and lets you change the dynamic even after the note is pressed. Velocity key and fade is perfect for playing realistic crescendos and decrescendos. Velocity Auto Fade. This performs an automatic volume curve, which can be a big help, especially for realistic trumpet sections in a live performance. When Auto Fade is selected, the automatic volume curve starts at the highest velocity, performing a decrescendo followed by a crescendo. Velocity Key and Auto Fade. This is a combination of Velocity Key and Velocity Auto Fade. Velocity is controlled via keyboard velocity, but the Auto Fade is performed depending on the selected settings. It performs the same volume curve as Velocity Auto Fade, but the starting point is the velocity of the played note. The speed of the Auto Fade curve can be adjusted with the decay and length knobs. You can adjust the speed for both, the decrescendo and the following crescendo separately in musical beats. The absolute length depends on your host tempo. The following controls are available to adjust the auto fade. Vibrato intensity, curve re-trigger, amount of decrescendo, decay time and overall length. Amount sets the destination velocity for the decrescendo, for the decay. If amount is set all the way up to 127, the decay goes down to velocity zero. Amount set to zero creates no volume curve. Decay sets the time from the highest velocity to the velocity selected in the amount setting. Length sets the overall time of the volume curve. When the decay time is over, the sound starts to swell again. The highest velocity is reached when the selected length time is over. That's why the decay cannot be longer than the length, and the length cannot be shorter than the decay time. Retrigger sets the time for polyphonic playing. All notes within the selected time range are affected by the auto-fade settings. Vibrato. 
This is a kind of auto vibrato which works independently from the velo settings. The auto vibrato performs an evolving vibrato with a defined delay and increased time. Delay and increased time depend on the delay and length settings. The vibrato sets the maximum intensity of the auto vibrato. Detailed adjustments on speed, volume and tune change can be made in the vibrato settings page. The vibrato and velo fade indicators also work as sliders. Simply touch and drag anywhere in the indicator graphic to change the value.